Monkeypox uh, is a viral disease uh, and it's in the family of pox viruses. So it's in that family with variola that causes smallpox, uh, vaccinia, which is the, the virus that's in the smallpox vaccine, and cowpox. So it's one of these pox viruses, or DNA viruses. That's fortunate because they mutate much less frequently than the RNA viruses like the one that causes COVID. The very first case was uh, discovered in a colony of monkeys that was being used for research. And because the first uh, isolation was from a monkey, they call it monkeypox. But it turns out actually that probably the reservoir where the virus comes from is rodents. And that outbreak we had in the United States, it was related to people having prairie dogs as pets. And there are about 50 cases of monkeypox derived from these uh, contact with prairie dogs. But it turns out the prairie dogs were infected by these what we call giant Gambian rats that had been imported into the United States. And it was those African rodents that infected the prairie dogs that then caused the human cases. So um, that was the last big one in the United States was 2003. Uh, the very first human case was 1970. And I actually saw my first case of monkeypox in 1974 when I was working in a, in a mission hospital in what was called Zaire at the time. That's the, now the Democratic Republic of Congo. And it turns out that's where most cases are now is in the Congo, probably 6,000 reported cases a year. And that variant has about a 10% rate of dying. The other uh, variant of monkeypox is in West Africa, mainly in Nigeria. And that's about 1% of people die or less with the Nigerian variant. And that's what we're dealing with, fortunately. We're dealing with the variant that came from Nigeria. And when you look at these 800 or so cases in this current, uh, really uh, 31 countries, so pretty much a, 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 almost a pandemic, uh, almost most of them are associated with men who have sex with men. And it turns out it's that close con sexual contact that has uh, led to the transmission. And many of the U.S. cases actually, they were men who have sex with men who traveled to Europe, had close contact in Europe and then came back and um, developed monkeypox. Uh, normally with monkeypox, you uh, first thing you have is a fever, muscle aches, headache, and then after about three days of these symptoms, then you get the rash. So you actually get a warning uh, with this prodromal symptoms before the rash. Usually the rash starts on the face, in the mouth, and then hands and feet, and then spreads into the center of the body. But with this uh, outbreak, it turns out that some, a lot of the cases, actually the first rash is in the genital area. And there, there was some data from that original outbreak in 2003 that your symptoms are associated with how you get inoculated with the virus. And so if you think about it, if you get it like a sexually transmitted disease, then your first lesions are in the genital area. And so actually there's been proctitis inflammation of the rectum in some cases, uh, rectal pain, uh, lesions uh, in, in the genital area. And so the initial ones were misdiagnosed as sexually transmitted diseases. I think in the United States of the 17 cases that we have real good data on, I think 14 out of 17 were men who have sex with men. And most of them had traveled recently. They didn't get it in the United States.